This is the area of the HTML code that generates the responsive sidebar. I have created a copy of the master document to be used to generate the EFB version. A less than symbol, an exclamation mark and two dashes comment out the sidebar code. At the end of the sidebar code a greater than symbol is used to signify the end of the comment. Commenting out code is often used to disable a piece of code but not remove it, so it can be used as an alternate method. Once the sidebar is commented out, we then change the margin from 250 pixels to 5 pixels. The HTML document is then saved. In a web browser I now hit the refresh button to load the modified copy. You will notice that the sidebar disappears. I then use the print function to export the document as a PDF. The HTML contains code that tells the print function where to create page breaks so that the PDF document's appearance is usable on a small format iOS device like an iPad mini. The PDF now functions with internal links. The summary of changes will appear at the beginning of the document so that users can easily see what changes have been made. The summary of changes is hyperlinked so that users can navigate to changes with a click or a tap on the screen. New or changed content is marked in red and underlined. There is a TOC link under each OCFO title so that users can navigate backwards in the PDF. The TOC is laid out to maximize the page and is simplified for the EFB, as EFBs are utilized by users familiar with the content. Common use abbreviations are used to make the TOC as compact as possible so that all content can be located on one or two pages.